And today with the AC coupling mode on the day micro hybrid inverter, which is a awesome way for those that already have solar panels or want to include solar panels and want a easy way to add storage so that instead of sending free energy to the grid or selling at a really low price, we can put in a wireless CT on our circuit breaker. Just put in the day micro hybrid inverter and batteries that can go up to 10 kilowatt hour from two kilowatt hour depending on our needs. Put it on any location, we don't need to put it near our circuit breaker and pick up all the surplus power inside the battery to use when we need, which is usually at night. But before I show you the configuration, which is so simple. And now with the AC coupling mode working on the day micro hybrid inverter, which is right over here on the office. At this moment, I don't have any solar panels connected. I did do these uh, shorter cables so that it's easier for me to test out different panels and gather data and then share with you. But at this moment, as we can see, there is no power coming from the solar panels it is at zero so we have no connection at all but we are charging the battery with the uh, energy that it's a surplus energy produced by other inverters that we have on our grid and instead of sending to the outside grid what happens is that it will get the surplus with a wireless meter and it will send it to the battery and this moment 48% of charge which is a beauty so this is the inverter that I'm working here and it's connected to this grid on my office it is injected just in a normal socket inside and it is connected to two 610 watt echo or ICO panels and it's generating at this moment 895 watt per hour more or less the panels are at about 75 degrees which is so that I can measure the power that we can produce when we want to have a space on our garden or on our backyard or even on a balcony so that we can uh, see if it's worth it or not. What matters for this video is that we are producing this energy and if I didn't have the dye micro hybrid inverter that we just have seen, the surplus energy which is about 400 watts of power at this moment would go to the grid, would be wasted and at this moment what we are doing without changing the installation is getting that surplus power and sending to the inverter and the batteries through AC coupling which is awesome and let's go to the circuit breaker so this is the partial circuit breaker from our house this is on the office and instead of connecting to my main breaker which I have quite a few systems connected there I did connect this this is a smaller system and I do have the um, wireless CT right over here with LoRa communication which means that I can put the inverter in a battery wherever I want in my house even here on the basement and take the uh, wireless CT upstairs would work just fine because I've done a lot of tests uh, during a few days and I already shared them with you but at this moment what we can see both on this one which is not a smart CT it's a dumb CT but it works nicely and this one here that is a optional which I believe that it's awesome if we are going to get one of these day systems now what is doing is communicating with the inverter which is at a distance via wireless and it's sending the information so if i'm producing 900 watts hour on that grid inverter that we have seen and the office here on my house is using about 500 watts at this moment it means that i do have 400 watts of surplus power and the day will pick that data from the wireless ct and it will send that energy to the battery so that we can use it later and all this without doing any modifications to the solar installation that we have at home now on this dump city that i've got here what i can check is the job that it's been doing by the wireless city and the inverter that is on the other side and this just means that it's doing an effort to have this as close as zero possible so it doesn't want to let the inverter to purchase energy but it doesn't want to waste energy as well so it's doing that effort and we can see see right over here as well that when it comes close to zero it's perfect if it goes to a negative value it will give us positive values and if it comes to a positive value it will also give us positive value so this is a dumb ct if it is minus 20 we don't know if it's minus 20 or if it's plus 20 right over here we can see that it goes to negative value sometimes but uh, it remains on positive so it's balancing uh, between the positive and negative according to the energy that it's been produced by the other inverters which is not always the same because we have clouds and so on and we have different kinds of consumptions at the 
the house but it's doing a great job and all the surplus power going to the battery and here we are to finish up but we are far away from that circuit breaker that you just have seen and the work that the wireless CT has done is exactly that it's measuring the energy that it's being consumed by devices that we have connected in our house and it's telling the inverter hey we are using about 500 watts of the total of 900 watts that are being produced by the other inverter that we have seen so let's pick that surplus energy and send it to the battery so that we can use at the hour that we want and it's actually that that we are doing and right over here on this number we can see what is coming from the grid or going to the grid so it's doing the best that it can to have that value as close to zero as possible which is really awesome and I've been doing some tests I also have some other news that I will be sharing with you in a couple of days regarding AC coupling but with panels as well so that in the future if I want to connect more panels and take more advantage of any area that I want that is possible as well but it will be for another video and that's it easy as this now let's take a look at the configuration but before we do what I did before configure my unit was to contact day support so that they could update the firmware because I wasn't able to get the AC coupling mode working my unit is probably one of the first units on the market and it was with the previous generation of firmware if you have the same issue that you do what we are going to see right over here and you still can't activate ac coupling mode just contact the support now taking a look at our day cloud dashboard whatever we are going to do here on my laptop today which is easier to show to that side we can also do it on our phone in the day app where we go to the professional settings that i did share with you on the previous video and I will try to leave some links down below now at this moment you can see that I've got two systems one is my main system with six kilowatt of power and a 15 kilowatt hour battery and this one right over here is the micro hybrid uh, inverter with batteries which has six kilowatt hour of battery which is three modules so if I press right over here it will take me to this area where we can see all the data the savings what not and I've been sharing with you some details so I will try to leave some links down below and and what I want to do is to go to devices and on devices we will see here four different devices and what I want to choose is the micro ESS and now on the micro ESS what I want to do is go to operation and then just click here on device control it will open this page right over here which is basically the professional settings that we will find on the mobile app and once we are on this dashboard we have a lot of options but we will require to change a couple of them so regardless of the mobile that you are using to be able to have AC coupling mode enable we will require to have the uh, instead of green power or full charge mode which I did explain on previous videos we will need the customized mode so if you don't have the customized mode you will need to do and to do that first of all we will need to select read so that we have a updated version of what's happening with the system once it reads you will see that it will update the hour and day that it did the update and right now I can select the mode that I want now at this moment I do have already customized mode so I'm not going to change and the other setting that I need to change here is select zero export to wireless city this just in case that you are using a wireless CT just exactly the same as you have seen on my circuit breaker if you are using just the normal CT that comes with the unit which is the wired CT then you will need to select the zero export to CT which is the normal one but this has a disadvantage which is we will have to have our unit near to the circuit breaker while with the wireless CT I can have the inverter and batteries right over here and I can have the wireless CT on my circuit breaker on the first floor second floor it doesn't matter because it has a huge range that I did test out right over here in this particular case wireless CT so zero export to wireless CT once we do that you just need to press on the setup so that it can save those settings now we need to do something else we need to go right over here on the storage inverter work modes and we will need to enable time of use first of all we will need to do the same read and mine will show you the exact values that you are seeing right over here because I already have saved for my system and for the tests that I've been doing but if you don't then you will need to select all of these and this just means that you want to charge from the grid and we will not charge from the grid at full power we will only charge from the grid 
at the power that it's being injected to the grid on the outside, being produced by the other systems that we have, like you just have seen on my example. So what I'm going to do here, and your timings might be different from mine, doesn't matter because we are not going to use the timings for that. I did select all of the times right over here. I will also go here to the battery, and I will select battery to 10% on all of them. But the 10% right over here is important, not these, but these, because if I place here 90%, for example, and I press the setup, what will happen is that between 8 and 10, for example, what will happen is that regardless of the surplus power that's going to the grid, it will charge at full power. And it doesn't matter if it's 250 because we are not sending to the home. We are bringing from the home to the battery. So it will full charge at full power, which is 1000 watts. So I just need to make sure that the number here is lower than what the battery has at this moment. So if at this moment is 40%, for example, and I have 10%, it is lower. So it will not grab from the grid the maximum power of 1000 watts. It will only grab from the grid the power that is surplus. And the explanation is more difficult than the process because the process, I just need to leave all the values on default and put the battery at 10% and then press on grid charge on all of them and then press setup and that is it. But here I always try to send the message that we are not doing things for doing, we are doing things and we are understanding what we are doing so that I can use everything in my advantage and in this particular case to save as much money as I can from the energy that I'm sending to the grid, putting them on the batteries and then later on use them. That being said, hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.